Hey, what's up? It's fucking Schnell. Welcome to Metal Mondays. Uh, we're gonna be listening to um, Seasick. I got this uh, CD at the Blood Incantation show. It's called Test the Waters on Gutter Christ Productions. <clears throat> it's pretty fucking brutal, so we'll enjoy this. My record player's giving me some problems, but uh, I want to talk about the new issue with Decibel. Yeah, Lars is on the cover, but whatever. But we have... <clears throat> I'm losing my voice a little bit, so sorry. But the top 40 annual decibel issue, year-end issue, I always love it. It's a great way to find out about music that you miss throughout the year. But I agree with a lot of this year's top 40 list. And the number one came out of nowhere. But when I first heard this record... I knew that there was something special about it, and it reminded me a lot of, like, Baroness old Mastodon, like, in the best way possible, like, Leviathan era Mastodon, a little bit after Remission, and maybe a little bit before Blood Mountain, like, just in that little gray area, and that's Chemist Hunted on 20 Buck Spin. This record is a monster. It's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful fucking just record. Like, I, I can't say enough good things about it. Yeah, some of the vocals are a little bit all over the place, just in terms of, like, good cop, bad cop. But if you like, you know, Isis Panopticon, Neurosis, you will love this, like... But then you have, like, the clean vocals of, like, Paul Bearer. Like, it sounds like Paul Bearer at times. And then we'll go into this really, like, epic as fuck, like, you know, torchy sounding, like, part. It's fucking sick. And it's, you know, like, a lot of even of, like, the guitar, it does remind me of, like, Thin Lizzy. But in... Um, like, I'm not talking shit in a good, good way. It's fucking an amazing record. And, like, the artwork goes with what the album sounds like. Everything about it makes sense. And I understand why they chose Hunted over where I would have went Blood Incantation Star Spawn. Yeah. I just love death metal so much this year and so much good death metal came out that I've listened to Star Spawn pretty much just as much times as I've listened to Nails You Will Never Be One of Us which made number two and guess what Nails will be touring in March they're on hiatus still doesn't really say why but Nails is not breaking up Todd Jones confirms we're touring in March, and we're definitely going to make another album. We just got to spend some time on it and make sure it's up to the same quality as this one. I wish those guys the best of luck. And now, Blood Incantation, Star Spawn on Dark Descent Records. This is my number one record of the year. Everyone should have known that since summertime. If you've been following these videos or follow me on social media, you know I am obsessed with this fucking band, their fucking vision towards what they do with death metal and science fiction and just like all this cool shit like Mesopotamian identities, like interdimensional beings that exist outside of time itself, your fucking space shuttles, uh, life craft you know, dies after ten thousands of years and Earth's been destroyed and you're hovering lifeless. Even though that's off the Interdimensional Extinction EP, which I pre-ordered, which is coming in. We also had some sick tapes this year and EPs. For EPs, Gruesome's Dimensions of Horror. I am not going to throw this in to the albums. I'm just going to change this whole video right now in the middle of it. This is just albums you need to hear in 2016, okay? Does that sound good? It sounds good to me. So, 
expect a vital vinyl vlog episode later on right before New Year's because I'm not a publication I don't have a deadline I have an order with some new records coming so I would like to listen to like the new Crips album like on my record player in the, the dark so I can get the fucking full feel of it because I have a feeling that's gonna be up in the top three I know I can listen to it on Decibel Spotify, but I don't want to. I want to wait and show you guys a physical copy and everything like that. So, let's get back to the fucking list. There was two cassette demos and rehearsal tapes I heard this year that really, really were vicious and needed to be on, in a physical form outside of cassette tapes. I understand where cassette tapes now come in, you know, it's a good thing. Like, first off, it shows we're old school. Like, we love death metal and that rules. Whatever, we need more of that shit. But, like, just being able to, you know, go into, like, an old, like, 1987 station wagon and throw on, like, the fucking spectral demo, uh, spectral voice demo, the, the new one, it's fucking amazing, like, and the Topos Nomos rehearsal tape, holy shit, like, if you guys have not heard this stuff, I'm sure it's on YouTube or on Band, I'm, I'm, I know it's on Bandcamp, uh, check out some of the new Topos Nomos material. If not, go check out Only West Lies Death, which came out last year on um, Hammerheart Records. And it's just one of the best old school death metal albums you will, you'll hear. Ever. Like, for real. It's so fucking good. And the Spectral Voice demo that I heard, wow. It was just it was amazing just I love that band I ordered a long sleeve and fucked up and forgot to order their first demo on vinyl so I fucked up it happens but I did remember to order the Inter interdimensional extinction EP so yeah also we have fucking inner arm of paradise gallows how great was this record for all of us fans of Panopticon and Oceanic Era Isis. For me, this record spoke fucking volumes. It reminded me of all those parts on, like, Oceanic that I loved. Like, the artwork alone with, like, the boat and just, like, the whole Mastodon. It reminds me a lot of Mastodon, Leviathan, and Neurosis, and those Isis records. Like, all thrown together in an amazing blend of fucking heavy, crushing, just, oh, it's so goddamn good, like, so many good bands come out of fucking Richmond, Virginia, I just do not understand what is in the water down there, it's just so fucking sick, like, I like the new Gore Guts, but it did not make my, my list, the new Cobalt as well, the new Vocalist, I love it, but like I really, really loved Jin, and it's one of those records that forever will just be one of my favorite records. So, Slow Forever is worth listening to, but it's not on my list. I have yet to hear the new Crowbar, so again, that could be way higher up on my actual list, but. I suggest checking it out. The Serpent Only Lies on E1 Music. But I have yet to hear this. Now, Ghoul Dungeon Bastards. These motherfuckers keep getting better and better and better and better. If you felt like Municipal Waste has been a little bit too busy with, you know, Cannabis Corpse and Iron Reagan, you have Municipal Waste playing the Decibel Beer and Music Fest, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm sure a new record's coming. But in the meantime, Ghoul not only picks up where Municipal Waste left off touring-wise, they pick up where Guar left off. In my opinion, Ghoul is the new Guar. I saw Ghoul last year with DRI and Phobia, and it was one of the most fun I've ever had at a fucking show. 
so much fun. Now, Destroyer 666 Wildfire would be on my list, but after some comments were made, um, it's worth listening to, but whatever. Now, the new Oathbreaker, amazing, but I feel like they hung out or listened to um, Death Heaven a little bit too much, but it is worth listening to. Ace, uh, trap them now. Crown Feral. How good is that fucking record? I know the term entombed core gets thrown around and stuff, but if there really was a genre called entombed core, I'm sure trap them would legit be the kings sitting on top of a throne of HM2 pedals. And now we have Neurosis Fires Within Fires. I feel like this Neurosis record went over a lot of people's heads. I didn't hear a lot of people talking about it. There wasn't that big of a buzz. I'm pretty sure it was only five songs. I forget. I actually had a copy pre-ordered for me at Repo, but I never went to pick it up. Sorry, guys, if anybody's watching this. My bad. But I um listened to it a lot on Spotify, and I really, really loved it, you know. Every Neurosis album seems to touch a, like, cor it sounds corny, but it, it, I feel it in my heart when I listen to it. And you could tell that, like, Scott Kelly and, like, Steve and everybody else in Neurosis is giving 120% emotionally into their music, and it's just amazing. I also suggest checking out the Panopticon split with Wonden Falst. I've Again, I cannot pronounce that band's name, but it's it's beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful records you will hear probably ever. It's so fucking perfect. Like, I love that folky black metal, like, lately. Like, back in the day, I, j just give me some arch goat and I was fucking happy. But, like, nowadays I find myself, I really, really love Panopticon. I cannot wait to see them live at the Decibel Beer and Music Fest, but let's get on to the list and more records for you guys to check out. We're gonna go with Sumac. What One Becomes, which is on Thrill Jockey Records. Now, this is Aaron Turner's new baby. Aaron Turner used to be an ISIS. If you didn't know, ISIS used to be this amazing, amazing post-rock band post-metal actually, or metal gaze, whatever you want to call it, Nur Isis, but it's not a terrorist group, it's an amazing band with some amazing records, check out Celestial, Oceanic, Panopticon, check those out, hell yeah, so good, and check out their split with Pig Destroyer, I'm pretty sure that has their um, cover of fucking uh, Street Cleaner by uh, Godflesh. But this Sumac record, it pretty much, it feels like just some offbeat, like, Old Man Gloom and uh, Isis-y type stuff. It, it's good. If you like Isis and you like, you know, stuff Aaron Turner's involved in, then you'll fucking love this record. I shouldn't even really need to talk about it. The new Dillinger, I've yet to hear. I've heard it's great. Uh, same goes for fucking Child Bite. Now... Inverlock. It's pretty much like having a new disembowelment record. It's so goddamn good. Another EP to check out. Check out the new Skeleton Witch EP with um, Adam from Wolfhammer on vocals. It's super killer black and thrash going back to their roots. And lastly, I'm just going to end with the new Inquisition album. I'm not even going to try with the title. Just check it out on Season of Mist Records, it's fucking vicious, hateful, awesome black metal, so check it out, thanks for watching this Metal Monday, and you know, check out the real list soon, peace, hails as well.